Hi everyone, Daniel from Homegrown Australia. So I'm in the outer eastern suburbs of Melbourne and it's the 31st of December, New Year's Eve. Um, I've been picking the blueberries now for about three weeks, but um, mostly over the last week, I've been taking a bowl off um, these bushes each day. So I thought I'd share with you um, the little I know about the blueberries and I've only just purchased these plants in the last six months and haven't got them in the ground yet. They're still in pots. I've got them covered um, by a structure and net to stop the birds um, accessing them and eating them all on me, which they were starting to do before I put them under cover. Um, and the variety that I'm growing here, um, according to the commercial grower I bought them off, is the Brigetta. Um, quite often you see the Brigetta requires um, a pollinator um, to help them grow. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I don't have an alternative variety. They're all Brigetta. And they've been quite successful uh, without a pollinator. Um, the, co the pollinator that's usually recommended is a Blue Rose or a Northland variety. Um, and I might grab a couple of those in the future just to see if that improves the yield. But um, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing so far. So I've got these growing in pots and blueberries like an acidic soil. So probably between four and a half and five and a half uh, pH. Um, you can buy soil testing kits from places like nurseries and Bunnings and so forth. Um, and my understanding it is important. So if you can grow camellias, azaleas, uh, rhododendrons, the kind of plants that also like acidic soil. Um, if you're just buying some potting mix and, and planting azaleas in a pot, um, the advice that I've seen is you really want large pots and ideally um, ceramic pots that might not vary in temperature as much as, as the black plastic pots that these came in. So I'm going to plant them in the ground, um, but you can use the azalea, camellia, uh, rhododendron type potting mixes, a, um, a lot of compost, manure, and if you need to get the um, soil to become more acidic, you can buy a sulfur um, product that you use sparingly um, from nurseries and bunnings in either a liquid form. I think Yates has a liquid ver version and you can get granular form as well. Um, the sulfur can take up to six months to affect the pH of the soil. So, um, yeah, there's a bit of a process there in terms of using it. But, um, yeah, I thought I'd share with you. Um, oops, sorry. Just picking up, um, I picked a small bowl this morning. Um, oh, I think it's really, really worth growing the the blueberries. Um, blueberries are grown right throughout Australia. Um, so in areas like Margaret River over in Western Australia, um, here in Victoria, they're grown all around near where I live in Mombolk and Alinda and Sylvan. Um, they're grown up through New South Wales and, and, and into Queensland as well. So, uh, and, and down into Tassie. Um, Huon Valley and Burnie and various places down there as well. So, um, yeah, I think a um, great opportunity for people to grow their own blueberries. Um, I did find some figures actually on, online that um, suggested there's about 15,000 tonnes of blueberries grown each year and those figures were dated by a couple of years and the graph was suggesting blueberries are becoming more and more popular with uh, increased volumes being grown each year so um, and that was worth about 250 million dollars mostly sold domestically so we don't export a lot of blueberries um, so yeah I, f I found that a little bit interesting obviously in the shops you see since compared to when we were kids uh, we see a lot more blueberries and raspberries um, in, in in the shops for consumption so um, they're obviously very popular um, and usually quite expensive, particularly if they're out of season uh, locally. So, um, yeah, 
I think it's really worth growing blueberries. Um, I'll keep you posted as I get these into the ground and as we have a crop next year and we'll see how that compares. These will grow a lot larger than this, uh, than what they are in the pots. These plants are three years old. So it's unusual to get three year old plants in pots, but um, I bought these from a commercial grower that sells them to the commercial, the farmer, farmers. Um, so yeah, hope you found that a little bit interesting. Um, and encourage you to grow some blueberries. Feel free to give me a like if um, you thought that was useful. And um, if you haven't subscribed and like to see more of these videos and get notifications when I'm posting them, I'm getting semi-regular now with the videos, uh, feel free to subscribe as well. Love to have you on board. Thanks a lot. Bye.